Hi everybody, we're going to have some fun today. I am working with some products from Emerald Creek. Paper Artsy, Eileen Hall, and Seth Apter. So I got this in the mail today. This is a Seth Apter limited edition paints from Paper Artsy. It's a chalk acrylic fresco and um, I've got four different colors here which looks like a whole lot of fun. Let's see what they are. Okay, we'll be doing some painty papers here. Ah, it's a sticker on there. Okay. It is FFSA3. So there, I know he has different sets. So maybe that means that this is set three. I'm not sure. Anyway. I have Blue Lagoon, Butter, Magic Moss, and Double Denim. Fun stuff! Yeah, you know me. I have to get a little bit out here just to see what it looks like. Oh, that one needs a little shaking. Oh, but maybe it's a little more fluid than the other one. I don't know. That's the butter. Butter. Soft as butter. Okay. And this one is the Blue Lagoon. Ooh, look at that. I like that color a lot. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Get my little card here and I spread. So you saw the picture at the beginning of the stamps and the embellishments and all of that. This is what I'm going to work on today. This is a mini journal uh, which is a die from Sizzix and Eileen Hull. And um, it's a wraparound journal. You can use it either way or you could cut this piece off and uh, just have a regular journal this way but it has uh, the serrations and binding holes already in it so I'm gonna have some fun playing with this and I also have out some of Seth's stencils and stamps and Emerald Creek if you're not familiar with Emerald Creek this is uh, Seth's line which is baked texture and let me tell you they are yummy guys and I finally got my hands on some of this vintage beeswax so you better believe I'm going to use some of this today just because it's the first time I've had an opportunity to work with that but I mean the colors and uh, the texture are amazing their other lines include the allure line um, this one I mean salted raven yeah nice mix right um, hammered metal yeah so I mean check out all of their lines uh, I just got a new one the soft fall and snow because I want to do some things for winter but who knows I might even incorporate some of that into what we do today um, the aroma if you are allergic to uh, odors you may not want this but I have black cherry vanilla sugar and chocolate dream and yes folks these do smell just like what it says. Vanilla sugar, you betcha. They also have their classic line. And uh, in the classic line, you know, for the holidays, here's a silver sparkle. And, I mean, I, look at this for fall, this copper. This is copper pearl. Um, so, I mean, these are just their classic lines. She also sent me a brand new one that I don't think has even been named yet, and it's some kind of brass. And yeah, yeah, brass, got it, got to go good for that. And then she's got a whole new line uh, that's just come out with Rita. Um, this is Magical Mysteries. And look at that, guys. I mean, this, this purple is to die for. I mean, it's chunky and it's goodness, right? So I can't wait to play with that one too. But today, 
we've got our work cut out for us. So let's get started on that. Okay, so I'm going to start out with some collage materials. These are things that I do. I do some jelly printing and some have some tissue paper and an old atlas paper. And I'm just going to apply some of that to my surface of this little journal um, just to start out with a base and there's no rhyme or reason to it I'm just collaging paper down and then I will come back in with some paints and start to add color to this whole uh, process I'm just using a little stays on ink around the edges to uh, give it some depth and pull uh, the composition together and then we'll move on to some embossing. Okay, embossing powders. I have this new brass from Emerald Creek and a Versamark pad. And remember that die cut that I'd done originally. I'm going to ink that up and grab my embossing pan. I'm going to swipe it out with my powder and so that way I don't have any static cling. And I'm going to use that and then I'm also going to use an Allure uh, copper one. Um, I like to use combinations of embossing powder on my pieces so um, you can do that you know just just to let you know you can do that you don't have to always uh, just stick with the rules and only use one type of embossing powder so I'm going to heat my gun and I'm going to heat this up and you'll see what that combination does and oh I'm loving this I think it's a great combination and you can still see some of the color that I originally applied underneath so then I'm going to um, grab some more things. So this time I'm going to grab my stencil and my, oh dear, emboss it. There we go. I want to kind of overlap that image there. This is an emboss it dauber and uh, they come from Ranger and you can get them from Emerald Creek if you're interested in having this. I find it a useful tool. Okay, so I've daubed that on and I'm going to go kind of through the same thing that I did before. I'm going to get those embossing powders and 
I'm going to emboss this with some of those powders. So I had, what did I have? I had out these two. The new brass. And so I'm going to dump that off. And clean out my tray. Get the Allure Copper Heavy. Put that on there. Let's see, I got a little too much over there. So just brush that off. here. And that's how you can mix and match embossing powders. Let me heat my gun again. see the magic. Isn't that cool? How can you not love that? Okay, so let's see where we are with our book. This is the back side, and I'm liking that. If I flip it around, this is going to be the front. This is going to end up being an embellishment on here. So I'm thinking, thinking that I also would like to emphasize those numbers. So let's grab our dauber and our stencil. So now I need to create some papers for my journal. <laughs> so I'm just going to use Seth's technique where you just slap some paint down and get it going. Um, I have a little bitty book that uh, just has regular writing paper in it and I'm going to cover that and so there's a place to log things in and then I've got some painted papers uh, just to create something to play on later and I'm looking at the size and what I need and I'm going to punch a hole and create a belly band to go around 
uh, the journal and um, finish this up and I'll give you some final shots and be sure to say hi to everybody else that's in the hop and uh, check out what's going on over at Emerald Creek and with Seth and with Eileen and uh, see you next time guys bye